Hey guys. It did, yeah. We're, we were happy. That's uh, that's always a big concern when guys take a day off is just getting that uh, sense of urgency and snapping right back into it. And we were happy. You know, it was, it was far from perfect, which practices usually are. But uh, the intent was there, and the mindset was there, which is what we were looking for. You got a lot of guys at, at, at running back, obviously, that are flying for playing time, just sort of mm -hmm. opening salvo of camp. How does that group look to you, and, and maybe who in that group that has gone off the start? Yeah, well, it's still work in progress. We're rotating five guys. Um, Mar Marquis Step, the transfer, he he's done some really good things, and this is really his first time taking reps because he was hurt in the spring, and he looks 100% ready to roll. Uh, Savion Morrison is rep with the ones and twos. He's doing some really good things. Gabe Irvin has made big steps, which we expected because you're a freshman. And your, your biggest steps you make, he was actually here in the spring, is from spring to fall, so he, he's doing some really good things. But they all, and then so, and so is Marvin, you know, and, and Ramirez. Ramirez probably having his best spring. Uh, since he's been here. So we've got good competition there. We heard Heldt on Sportsnet last night. I think that was reported before camp. But he made a comment that Semyon Morris was talented but had to learn how to handle you know, things off the field, stay healthy, eat the right things. Have you, have you noticed that he did that, and how has that affected his performance in camp? But yeah, that's exactly. I mean, one of his biggest hang-ups has been, and not always his fault, he's just been injured. You know, he's had different things. He, he's had some bad luck with some injuries and got sick. And so missed a lot of practice, and we never really get to saw him. And so this spring's the first time we've been able to see him compete. And he's embraced it. And I'll give him a lot of credit. I think he did a good job of getting his body healthy in the off season, which all those guys did. So he, he can physically – because running backs are going to get banged up. That's the nature of the position. And uh, – and even though we haven't gotten a live scrimmage yet, those guys are thudded and they're, they're taking shots and they're running hard. And, and he's done a great job and has missed a practice. Matt, I've come across this day uh, before camp started. You'd like to know, you'd like to have a, a bell cow, you know, as one guy, and then you know, another guy. Anybody wants to know that sooner rather than later? Like, sure. Like, yeah, no, I, you know, we're, we're only, I think today was practice five, so we're, we're kind of getting into it. and. We'd like to get uh, a, a definite one and then a two. And, and, and the reason that is just so we can give him more of the reps, especially like right now we're installing our whole offense. We're exposing him to everything. But once we really start paring it down and doing the Illinois game plan, you, you want to have, have ones, not just at his position, but every position. And you want to have twos, but the ones need, need a lot of reps. And so we're, we're working on that. And yeah, sooner is always better than later. But, but we're, again, we're very early into camp. Uh, consistency, and that's not just a running back. That, that's uh, every position. You know, who's, who can we count on to do the right assignment? Uh, we ask our running backs to do a lot. We ask them to pass protect. Uh, we ask them to run down the middle. We ask them to catch balls. So who, who can do that the best on a consistent basis? And, uh, and that's really every position. You know, that's, from, that's the quarterback. That's the offensive line. That's, that's the receiver as well. Yeah. Uh, so what you thought now with, with pads coming tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, well, well, coming into this fall, we kind of thought, yeah, that was li limited reps. Um, let's see what he can do. We don't want to rush him back too soon. But uh, And see how he progresses. And he's been doing better than we thought as far as his health. So, yeah, I don't know. That, we're, that's kind of a practice by practice. I, I think he's ready to roll, you know, in a scrimmage. If we had to play tomorrow, he'd be ready to roll. So we, we feel good about that. And yeah, he's, he's kind of progressed a little bit faster than we thought he would from a health standpoint. Matt, I, I know you mentioned on the radio, in your past, you've, you've often had newcomers step into skill roles and play the other season. Are there some guys that have to jump on that? I mean, I know it's early, but that have impressed you through summer and kind of positioning themselves to do that. 
Sure. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it's way too early because practice five, it, it's really hard on the newcomers that just got here because, you know, we're, we're, we're installing so many plays, especially early on. And eventually we're going to start paring it down. So they get into the situation where they're thinking and they can't really play. And so it's really unfair to give those guys an evaluation other than their attitude's been awesome and our new guys have bought into the system and they're fun to be around. So that's, that's the most important thing. Uh, the other thing where we're a lot different on offense is we have a lot of guys returning from last year. So we've, we've installed a way different spot this year as opposed to last year as far as experience. And so our install has gone a little bit faster. We've asked a little bit more. we put in more plays, which has kind of hurt our younger guys a little bit. But our, but our older guys have been able to move forward, and we've been able to move at a faster pace. So I think we have more depth than we did last year. We have a lot more returning players, which is going to make it a little more challenging for the younger guys. And again, it's still early in camp, so we'll see. Sure. Uh, why, why have touchdown passes been such a problem for such a low last Well, that's a good question. We, we, we're always about throwing more touchdown passes. Um, you know, the red zone in general is a point of emphasis. We're going to emphasize the heck out of it. That's when, it, when you win or lose football games. Uh, and we want touchdowns, not field goals, obviously. Um, you know, part of being in the red zone just like in the open field, is executing and not beating ourselves. You know, it seems like last year we had, whether it was a penalty, turnovers, inopportune times, that has nothing to do with our opponent, that's us. So the biggest thing, you know, executing, take care of ourselves. I mean, no penalties, protecting the football, um, doing the right assignment. And what that does, that gets you into where you're ahead of the sticks, whether it's the red zone of the field, where you can take more shots, you know, and throw the ball down the field more. Uh, which has been a point of emphasis, you know. So, uh, so it's it's a combination of things. But I think the red zone's a lot like the open field. Now the red zone's harder. I mean, the defense has less space to to cover, and so it really forces you to execute. And and, and part of it's just it's it's a mindset saying, hey, you know, it's I'm not going to have as much room. I got to win my one-on-one -on -one battle, whatever position I am, and and, and competing. And because the defense, that's a, that's a big deal. Of defense too, they want to stop you when they're in the red zone. Sure. Uh, his pass blocking is really good. That's a strength. Um, pass blocking is a lot about technique, but at the end of the day, it's about toughness. And that's what I've been really impressed with Gabe. And Gabe's talented, but he's very physically tough. Um, so he, he runs the ball hard between the tackles. He'll run through contact. And then he's not afraid to take on a linebacker coming off the edge. So that's a big quality that we look for in all our players is, is physical and mental toughness. No question. Yeah, the, the scouts should be looking at those guys because, you know, I think my last year at Oregon, we had three tight ends that all, all went to the NFL. And these, these are the best two that I've ever been around from a consistency, leadership, and just the way they practice. Coach Beck does a great job with them. Uh, they're making plays. We ask a lot about our a lot from our tight ends because they have to be point of attack in the run game, but we also split them out as wide receivers, and they have to be able to make plays in the passing game. And so it's a lot on them mentally and physically, and they've done great. And they're leaders of our football team. I mean, the way they lead by example and how hard they practice is contagious, and it spreads to other guys. Sure. No, he's been, he's been really good. Uh, it goes back to the, the consistency. He's been very consistent. He, you know, he's another guy that was, because of injuries last year, is kind of in and out of the lineup, especially during practice. Um, and now he's he's healthy, and it's fun to see what he can do when he's healthy. And he's playing with confidence. Uh, you know, another first-year player that's been in the system for a year, so actually knows what he's doing. And so all that talent that we knew he had is is, is starting to rise up to the top, and we're actually able to see it because he's confident in what he's doing. Yeah, uh, we'd like to be able to play as many as we can. What I mean by that, we're, our base personnel could be two tight ends, could be three receivers. We want to have a two deep that can at least go in there and function and play and make plays. Now, if we can play more guys, that makes everyone better because of rest, you know, and guys are fresh. And uh, we always talk about 
at the end of the day, who's going to determine that is, is the players themselves. You know, we're, we're, we're mixing, matching different lineups. Uh, we got a lot of competition, which is making everybody better. But we'll, we'll keep seeing them. If we can play more guys, we'll play more guys. If we can only play four, four or five guys, we'll play four or five guys. Uh, but if it's, if it's close, it helps us as a football team, and not just a receiver at every position, the more guys we can play. The quarterback might be a little bit different. We, I think we have we have at least six. I think we have more than that. I think we I do. I, our our depth this year at receiver compared to last year is uh, it's night and day because last year a lot of those guys were first year guys. Now they've all been a year in the system. So we we actually feel like we have a good three deep that can go in there and function and play and compete in football games and not and have success. Uh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna make me forget guys. Okay. Uh, Let's see, in, a no, in no particular order, but uh, yeah, we, we talked about Omar, we talked about uh, or Oliver Martin's having a good camp, Samari Torres is, is playing great, uh, Wyatt Lure's playing great, um, Alante Brown is playing great, you know, he was another guy that was hurt a lot last year that's healthy, that's doing a, doing a great job, um, Xavier Betts is doing some really good things, uh, Brody Belt's doing some really good things. Uh, and that's not really talking about our freshmen. And again, I, I want to kind of, they're all doing a good job, but I want to hold on those guys until, you know, make a fair evaluation once they kind of know what they're doing and, and, and get a little more confidence. But all three of those guys, Sean Hardy, uh, Sean Hardy, uh, KG, Grimes is doing a great job, and uh, Latrell Novell doing a great job. So. They're all doing a good job. Again, it's just too early, only four practices to evaluate those guys. Those guys weren't here in the spring. Like some, of, some of our freshmen were actually here in the spring, which so, that, so they definitely got a kickstart. But the guys that are here this fall are doing a great job, but it's just too early to, to say where they're at in the rotation. Hey, Matt, uh, Will Nixon over there. Um, and he's another guy. I hope I mentioned him because he's, he's another guy that's, that's having a great camp, that's battling out for that, for that 2R, and he's, he's, he's battling. Yeah, I wanted to give you that. Yep, thank you. Appreciate you. You mentioned Samori as a great mentor to him. Yep. Um, and I know you liked his leadership in the winter and the spring. How has that Samori, how has that even advanced through the summer and now in the first five practices? Uh, yeah, it, it, he, so first off, he leads by example. I mean, he's... He just ha he handles everything like a pro. He seems like he never gets tired. He does everything full speed. Uh, so our our players and they see him have success. So our players kind of gravitate towards that. But he's also very he's very humble. Um, he's he helps out the other guys. He doesn't he doesn't feel like a young guy because he's already helping out other young guys. Uh, very humble and then he's very driven. You know he's 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 always wants to get better. He's he's kind of his worst critic. He always thinks he can do better, which is part of being a good football player. And he, he handles himself that way throughout the whole day. I mean, he's in the front row in meetings. Uh, he always wants to watch extra film. Uh, and so that's, as a coach, your, your best leaders are your, are your players. And, and when they're doing things, especially they're making plays and they're doing things right, it rubs off on everybody else. Something that talked about after the spring game was his bond with Omar and how they've helped each other. Um, I wonder, you know, from your perspective, how big has having Samori, another older guy who's transferred in, you know, been through a lot, how has that helped Omar stay on track? I think it's been huge. You know, I, I know they spend a lot of time together uh, off the field. And uh, I know Omar's another guy that kind of looks to Samari because of his experience and the way he's done things. And this is how you do things. And that, that's been a huge deal. You know, Samari rubbing off on Omar. And, and uh, yeah, I think it, not just Omar, but he's rubbed off on a whole bunch of guys. But, yeah, that's, that's been, it's been great for us. Sort of a general question, but how close did you get last year to being where you wanted to be in the run game? And what is the next step overall in, in running the offense? Sure. Um, well, like like every part of football, we're, we're always in a state of constant improvement. We always think we can get better. Uh, we did some good things in the run game. I think we were actually second in the league in rushing. Uh, we got to be more consistent, just just like we do in the passing game. But the the run game fits in with the passing game. You know, so the better you can throw the ball, it helps out your run game. And, and it play the same same with running the ball. If we, if we can run the ball really good, we're going to get some some good looks from the defense to throw the ball. And so we really want to be balanced and, and, and be able to do well at both. But uh, 
you know, not the run game and, and the passing game just get better as an offense. It's just the details. And what I mean by details, every, every position has their own specific things, but it might be a, a step here. It might be playing with lower pads here. It might be keeping our hands inside as an offensive lineman. So just really doing the details. And, um, you know, as an offense last year, run game, pass game, we did some things that had nothing to do with our opponent where we beat ourselves, which is the exact opposite of details when we, we turn the ball over or we have a penalty. And so that, that's one of the biggest things that we're trying to clean at first is, is the details as a whole offense of doing the right thing, doing our assignments, not turning the ball over, and, and, and reducing penalties. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed that he's he looks he's always looked good to me, but uh, I think he has lost a couple of pounds. But I think he's also put on some muscle. Yeah, he just looks faster, and he's, and he's always been he's one of the better running quarterbacks in the country. And I think he's actually gained a step. So tribute to him. You know, that's that's a big thing when you've been a three-year starter and you continue to keep working harder and pushing yourself and change your body. That shows you how driven he is, and it's showing on the practice field. Thanks, guys.